Guys, thank you for dropping by and checking out my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you. You are so very important to me. And uh, in today's video, we're just going to look at the Nairobi side of prostitution. And uh, this may seem like something that happens only in the movies, but it happens in Nairobi deep in the night. And just remember to drop a subscription. Your subscription really counts. Your like really counts. And your view is just very important to me. Thank you for without you, I'm nothing. But I'm all that I am because of you. Now, as you can see, you can see in the picture there are six ladies. And they, they may seem like they are waiting for something. You may think maybe they are waiting for uh, maybe it's a bus stop or something, but you may be fooled by just they are standing there motionless or maybe without so much activities. But as you can see, there is one lady just going to approach a, a male compatriot there and she tries to just lure him in, but she seems like she didn't succeed. So the man, the man just walked away. Then there's another man just walking by. This is what they do. Patience is the name of the game. They just have to stay there. Then the men will come and you can see they, they keep turning and talking to the people passing by just to persuade them to go. And on the, on the, on the right of the picture, that's where the man went through, there are rooms there. And you can see it is cold. So these guys will just take some time just to take, uh, take, take a light moment, laugh about it. And uh, it's a long night, so they will have all the stories to do and to talk about. And you just have to wait and wait until someone someone comes along. They are waiting for customers, just to be precise. And they are on their phones, just talking to them. Some of them, they always, sometimes they get the calls from the phones. Sometimes they are called. Sometimes they are, what, they, they, they chat through the WhatsApp and they are, get the invitation to go. But as you can see, there is one lady, she's on her way. I think she's just been invited by a customer to move on. So she's going there. So there have remained five girls there. And then you can just see a man with a reflector just passing by. And these are just tactics. He will, he will stand there just to buy time and talk to them, maybe give a signal or something. But you see, he has just walked away. Maybe he didn't see what he liked, so just walked away. And patience, as I said, is the name of the game. You just have to keep waiting until someone comes by. Someone you like or someone who is interested and likes you. There you see another man just passing by. And as you can notice, everyone is going to the right side of the screen. There are where the rooms are, and that's where the whole operation goes. I could not get my cameras in there, but I hope next time I'll get a good shot about it. And then you can just see there's another lady with a phone in hand. I think she's been chatted or just called off to somewhere. And you see, Maybe she came back too quickly. Maybe the deal didn't go through or maybe they didn't agree on the price or something because it's negotiations. You have to agree on the price so that you do anything. So I think she came back quickly because maybe they didn't agree on the price and she was disappointed and came back. And you see another man just passing by. Actually, the targets are the men because most of these girls out here know that men are out there who want quick, cheap sex. So they will just be there just to offer it and get some money. Some of them maybe are addicted. Maybe some of them are doing it because of the hard situation in town or in the country. But it is not a good business. But it is what it is. Every man must survive. There you see the girl in the white skirt just checking the phone and just moving away. Seems like she, she has been called over. On the other side of the road is actually a hotel. So as the night went on, you can see in the picture there are only three ladies. The other three maybe had customers, so they are not in the scene anymore. Then you can just see the lady in yellow talking to a man. A male compatriot is just there. They are just discussing the terms and conditions, whatever they are going to do. And after a short while, you will just notice they will just walk off towards the room. They are going towards the room. I think their negotiations have, have come to a good conclusion. Then they went to the room, as I, I notified earlier, that it's on the right side of the screen. Then you can just see in the picture there are people who are trying to get their compatriot home he was so drunk yes he, he kept getting up and falling down getting up and falling down but these guys were good and they could not leave him behind so they kept just picking him up again and again so good but at the wee hours of the night it was not a good thing to know so as we are back to our 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 video 
You can see in the picture there are only two ladies. And after a while, you see one of the ladies goes away with a man dressed in black. Then she, she just like wishes the, the remaining lady good luck just there, turning back and going away. And she remained alone. Actually, she was the like the oldest. And then you can see there is just tea passing by. There are tea vendors passing by just if you just to, to fight and, and, and keep warm. This lady just stayed there for a long time. And even there was a, a street kid who tried his luck. Can you believe it? He tried his luck, but the lady was kind in a desperate situation, but she said no, she was not that desperate. So she just, just waved her away. Then there was this man who came by, then came, maybe asked for the prize, but was not interested, impressed by the prize. Then he just walked away. The lady was still there. She was there for some time. Then, just when I thought maybe she was not going to get anyone, this there came this stripped guy, guy with a, a t-shirt with the, the, the red strips with white shoes, and they started talking, and he was like he wanted he wanted he wanted to pay two hundred and fifty for the service, and the lady was like, ah no, that's too cheap. So the man was like, okay, if you don't want it, let me just go, and it was seemed like he was drunk. Then he turned back. The lady told him maybe if you do. 300 maybe i'll do it but she was like no i don't have that money if it's not uh, possible let me just walk away then he took a few steps and was like on the way but like like the lady just shouted if you can make it 200 we can do it then the man was like 200 yes and she started walking back then you can see the client just stand back and they went to do it for a mere 200 kenyan shillings oh my god i think this is bad it's just a desperation measure but you know maybe she was like it's better than standing here so they went into the rooms and after some time you'll just see some people just coming out of the video you remember this guy this guy with the black let me jog your mind if you have forgotten this guy. This is the guy that was here and she went with that girl with the white shoes. You remember him? You remember him? He was with that girl. So he's just coming from the, the, the operation area. Then that's the lady just a few moments later. She pops out of the room. And you can, I know you can just, you can join the doors and imagine what happened. They're just coming from the room and... I think the everyone has done the part that she was she or she was supposed to do. She has been paid. Then she's back to square one, back to the waiting bay to wait for the next client, for the next patient or the next customer. Then there were these two men who came by. You know, nowadays there are so many things. I don't know if they wanted a threesome or something. I don't know. But they were in deep conversation with this lady for some time. But I think like she was not interested or maybe they didn't get to a agree on the prize and they talked for a long time and they, this this guy with the white cap was almost very impatient so he just walked away but the other guy who had no cap on was persistent then you can just see the sun another man just minding his own business just sweeping the floor of course it is his job he's paid for it but he's doing this is almost midnight so very hardworking big guy there but you see this the the, the conversation is still continuing there with this guy the girl and the man you can see it's just by the roadside the cars are passing by and they have no fear or shame but it seemed like they didn't could not come to a conclusion and after some time, the man just walked away, maybe because they could not get to a, a very reasonable conclusion. So we just have to wait to see what will happen next. Then you remember this guy, the stripped guy with the old, the aged lady. Remember they went in, you just see him popping out from the place. Seems a little bit wary. Maybe because of the service or the, the thing they went to do back there. You see his walking link, seems like drunk. Then just some moments later, you see the lady coming from the room. I know now you can just join the doors. You know what's happening there. He's just having, they're having a service that is paid for. It is prostitution in in broad open places you see this is just in the middle of the cbd and i don't know there are so many tactics there are so many ways and you may think it's only the age you can see there there are little girls these girls were so small girls and they were in the middle of the night i don't know if they have been called to somewhere or what i wonder how they got the courage even to walk in these times of the hours but uh, the way they were dressed they were doing the same thing there are many tactics of the customers you see this guy just comes and just walks by and just signals the lady to follow follow him 
then the lady will just go follow the guy to the room then you can see there are some people just come directly to the lady then they give the number then the lady will give the location pin the location then they will follow then you see that there, there are customers who just come with the phone in hand this one has has been talking to someone here with the phone so when he reaches the place just takes the time to ask where the lady is and he was given directions then he will head towards the place so they, they some of them they are being called from uh, away as you saw in the first the beginning of this video that people were having the phones their hands and there's a border border ready to pick and drop anyone who wants to go and there's tea available to keep you warm in the night so everything is kind of sorted by for this thing to go on so guys thank you so much for watching this video please remember to subscribe please remember to drop a comment please continue supporting me i really appreciate you i am you because of everything thank you so much hmm. <coughs>